Hey everybody, welcome back to Sports People Hawaii. The name Gomes, if you've lived in Hawaii for a long time, you've probably seen it on the side of a school bus. Well, the school buses are no longer running, but Brian Gomes, well, he is charging hard and continuing to live up to the legacy that the Gomes family established long ago of giving to both community and neighborhood. This segment of Sports People Hawaii is brought to you by 7-Eleven Hawaii, your neighborhood store. Pay a visit to Brian Gomes at his home. This car uh, my dad and I built back in 1990. 93, 94, and this is one of the first, this is the first car that my dad and I, I rebuilt. I don't have kids, but this is my, this is like, this is my baby. Or at his shop. Check everything The ham so joints all look good on the four link. Yeah, they're not old. They're too. not old, chocolate potato good. And there's a pretty good chance you're gonna find him working on his cars. For the Gomes family, putting the rubber to the road dates back more than half a century. My grandfather used to race out in Kuhuku. I had an uncle who used to race out in Kuhuku. And then when Kuhuku track closed um, in the 60s when they opened Hawaii Raceway Park, my grandfather raced down there. And then my uncle, I have uncles, my dad raced down there. But it hasn't always been about racing for the Gomes family. In fact, quite the opposite. For decades, Gomes was the first name when it came to getting children to and from school safely every day. His father, David, started Gomes School Bus Company for one simple reason. He would go to work and seeing the kids, you know, walking in the rain because they had private buses that would run along the, the coastline. And by the time the, the kids would get to Kiakea, by the pier, I mean, the bus would get there, the, the kids they didn't have room, the bus was full. So my grandfather decided to, you know, get a bus and help out the community. And that's how he started the bus business. A business that eventually grew to more than 80 buses and safely transported students until just a couple of years ago. I know when you see those Gomes buses faded out, you can still see the logo. Right? Kind of sad, yeah, for the family? We, we started it and we, it was hard to tell, to say goodbye to the buses and we miss it a lot. But while school buses were the profession, race cars were always the passion. Yeah, that's my race car. Truthfully, that was my street car, and I, I bought it, and I was, it was kind of a hot rod, and took it down the track, and ran it down the track a couple of times, and my dad told me, you're either gonna race the car full tire, you know, full on race, or you're gonna drive it on the street because if you're gonna do both, it's gonna cost you too much money. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us tonight at the Maui Raceway Park, home of the Valley Tavern Association. Recently, Gomes spent a good chunk of money shipping his car to Maui, where he put the pedal to the metal at the Raceway Park there and came out number one. How exciting was that? Talk about that experience. Well, I, I haven't won a race for a while, and ever since the track closed down, Hawaii Raceway Park closed down, um, the last race we had there, I went to, I came runner-up. From that time to now, that was, gee, I don't know, many years, but I finally won a race in Maui, and that was a very exciting thing for me. Brian's victory even recognized by Governor David Ige who commended Gomes for his lifelong commitment to racing in a safe and legal manner. Shows that we, we're doing the right thing. We're racing not on the correct place, not on the streets. It was very meaningful for me to get something like that from him. Yeah, most trucks are pretty high, right? And so there's a good ease. Well, we saw what the earlier um, video showed that guy, all we could see was his hand. Something else Gomes takes great pride in, his mom, Lee, teaching driver's education, continuing the family tradition of keeping drivers educated and safe and ensuring community always comes first. 
So 7-Eleven Hawaii, our ongoing theme is your neighborhood store. And we try to build more stores to support other communities. Um, and I think the Gomes family really connects with that theme. And they've always been helping people around them in their neighborhoods, as well as other in other neighborhoods. So they've come full circle. Being a staple of the Kahalu area, their business and everything that they've done, They've done a lot to help the community as a whole, first by running a school bus system that they've had for many years, and also doing many things to help the community. And back to Brian's need for speed. He has two dreams. First, to see a raceway return here to Oahu. And second, to one day race with the big boys on the mainland. I would like to go in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a nice track. What would it mean to you to be able to race? Oh, that would be a dream come true. Um, that's something that, you know, at least I got a chance to say I, I raced in the mainland and I competed against a mainland variety of people, I guess. But until then, Brian will continue to tinker with his cars and spread his message. My message to them is learn to do it the correct way and the safe way. And safety is, safety is no, there's no price for safety. Because there's no, once you, something happens, there's, no, there's not a second chance you can turn the thing around. Yeah? And when you do it the right way and put yourself in the seat of a car and win, well, Gomes says, no feeling any better. It's a rush, I mean, I like it because I like, I like going fast. And the G-Force, it, it pulls you, uh, you know, it pulls on the seat. When you're in the seat, it pulls you back. So hard, hard to explain. And hopefully Brian's going to be able to realize that dream and race in Vegas sooner than later.